Hi, my name is Julie, and this presentation is on the website I designed for the K-pop boy group Seventeen. And I'll go through all the CSS features I had made for my website. And on the home page, I have a collapsible menu. When you click on it, it will show more information about Seventeen. And if you scroll down at the bottom, here is the animated slideshow. It will automatically play all the slides I have. And also, for my navigation bar, um, it's in fixed position, so it always stay on the top. And for each pages, when you hover on it, it will have a color to indicate which page you will be going to. And then, so I'll move on to the about page. So on this page, I have a slide in animation for this picture. And also, when you hover on the text, it will have a highlight. And here for the member profile, here's a hover feature for each picture. It will move a little bit. And then I have a table here. It contains some albums for the 17. And like for each album, we'll hover on it. It have all the detailed explanation for each album. And at the bottom, where the footer has some contact information, where the website and phone number is all located at the footer. And then I move on to the media and news page. So this page has four set uh, sections. First one is the photo gallery, and next one is the music video. And this page we have some tables. Um, also, we have a video YouTube video embedded at the bottom. And move on to concert tours. On this page, we have a little uh, notification boards and the calendar here. It will show the latest news on some important dates. And another table here for the concert timeline. And I'll move on to the awards page. So we have a sliding animation here and also a split animation for the awards. Flip it back and forth. And also have a uh, little animated icon at the left corner. And I'll move on to the fun fan zone. So for the fandom page, I have an animated slideshow in the header. And here are some buttons which you can click on it and it will take you to different pages just like the navigation bar. And I have lots of classable features on this page. Like each one, it has some details about each section I want to. Uh, emphasize on. Yeah, that's the fan page. And lastly, it's contact page. Uh, on this page, we have like a contact form where you can input some infos and also you can send it out. And uh, here we have a shop section. I have some um, albums for selling. And you can also click to view the details. Uh, pictures of each album. When you click on it, it will take you to some details picture. And all three of them all have it. You can, after you view like the uh, picture in details, you can decide on either to purchase it or not. And that's the shop section. And lastly, we have a slide sh clickable slideshow here, where you can click to see it. And that's all my pages. And you can click on the logo to go back to home page. And I will show you how to um, make it like if after I reduce the sizes, we'll have the uh, hamburger menu here. And each one of them is um, all accessible. It can take you to whichever page you want to. And each of my pages, they're all responsive right now. 
and they're mobile friendly. Media and news page. And come and then contact page. Tables are also responsive. Home page. I think um, this has been exciting and rewarding to start designing and developing on the Seventeen's website because it was my favorite um, boy then and also exploring all the CSS features and adding colors and vibrancy to this website pages it was really fun and but still there were difficulties along the way like for example ensuring that uh, the website was fully responsive. It was really challenging for me. So I watched a few uh, videos on YouTube to learn how to fix it. And so finally, I have fixed all my web pages to make it responsive. And also, another challenging part is the uh, fix the navigation bar at the top. So it was occasionally produced issues with overlapping body content, and it requires some careful adjustments to fix its location with the uh, z-index feature in the CSS and another feature that I really enjoy doing is the um, flip animation here it was really cool that you can flip around the pages but I have trouble making it stop at the mi middle pages so I was wishing that this feature could be clickable to stop at each page like right now, it's only stop at the front and back page. But I think overall, after learning like all those new features in CSS and looking at examples from class and with practices, I think the one's difficult task of debugging and optimizing code is turning into a teaching opportunity. And this course has been like a fantastic experience for me and it, it has given me a lot of learning opportunities. Like, it gave me a sense of accomplishment and the desire to learn more about web design. I really enjoyed this class, and thank you for watching.